Könnte es sein. Kurugenzi, <laughs> my man, Kurugenzi mini swords. Natukienda sana nataka tuniwa kumbushe na niwahimize ya kwamba kuendelea kutizama vipindi vyangu kama haujabofi ya kile kidude cha subscription una risk kuaribikiwa na choo kwa kwa wenyewe. Uje ipiga hapo nuclear waste yako safi. Alafu mazee unaenda kupiga ile kitu ya flash unajipata na hiyo kikitu kwa mkono. Unafikiria nao hicho niko na cheat code zake acha nitafute ujanja unangoa kale ka lead pale juu ndio uende upige manual flashing pale ukienda kuinua hivi flash unangoka na hiyo pia sasa saa hii hii kitu hai flash inamwagika tu kama ka waterfall kadogo pale ndani ya eh na unajua ile masaibu umeshapiga pale ndani mti yangu da fryer so subscribe mm kama tuanze kupigiwa story zako <laughs> Eh alaki ana kam. Woi woi woi. Please, mchimbieni shimo huko nje. Ay 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 anachachisha. Okay, sawa. Now. Eh wangwana nimekutana na mjama fulani juzi. Amekuwa ndani for I think around 9 months. Eh kisa na maana alifanya mambo yake pale town akaibia mtu simu, akauzia mtu. Eh, eventually simu ikamweka ndani. But this story ya leo sitaki kuipiga na perspective ya huyu jamaa mwenye ametoka ndani. Nataka niipige na perspective ya ule mjamaa mwenye aliuziwa hiyo simu ya wizi. Ndio ujue saa zingine mazee unazeingia kwa ngori man na sikupenda kwako. Now jamaa ameenda amesikia kuna mtu anataka kuuza simu. Na ni ile tu mnakutana na mtu town kibahati ni mtu ajui stranger wana kujaga na kaa nini hapa ni aje mti wangu niko na mali safi hapa itakuwaaje so jamaa akaona ah okay eh hey, hey, eh inaka kuweza sana na simu yangu kidogo na nichachishia wacha nichukue hii ikae mbaya so anaangalia simu anaona by then simu ina work fit nini anaonyeshwa kila kitu it's working perfectly anaambia na mambo unadai mangapi wana negotiate wana negotiate jamaa ana tea anaambia sawa Wacha niende nifanye nini? Nikuchukulie kamambos. Na wanafuatana vizuri sana. Jamaa anaenda anaingia mahali kwa ATM anachomoa, anatoka na do, anakam, anapatia huyo mjamaa. Na jamaa anachukua simu, anaendelea kuangalia as huyu mtu anahesabu nini? Pesa. So sikuizi sababu simu zetu kuongea ni secondary. The primary need ya simu ni kutandika mafotos. Jamaa anaingia tu kwa kamera pale angalie quality ya hii kamera iko namna gani ana snap snap tu photos ana snap snap as mwenye nini anaendelea kuhesabu nini pesa jamaa anamaliza kuhesabu pesa vizuri wanasalimiana asante it's been nice doing business with you na wanaagana these people do not know each other they have never met wajuani but anakumbuka mahali ame wamekutana mara ya kwanza after a couple of days jamaa mazee ako shughuli zake ni nini nini kidogo kidogo akiwa tu tao anaflankiwa na watu wawili wanamwambia ni aje mtu yangu hata usipanic hatuna ngori na wewe but kuna kitu uko nayo yetu na tunahitaji eh hey, jamaa anashindwa rada ni gani wanamshika vizuri na wanaandamana na yeye teke teke mpaka wapi police station akiwa police station ndio anagundua he amekuwa kitafutwa sababu ile simu wanaoperate nayo ni simu ya wizi nao hao maofisa wana make it very clear Hizi kesi za simu ya wizi wame deal nazo nyingi sana. Na the last person kupatikana nayo, the last one, huo ndiyo mtu wa gana serve sentence. Eh, sababu si umeshindwa kutupatia ule mwenye alikupea, wewe ndiyo mtu wa bus, wewe ndiyo tunaenda na wewe. So kama uko na design ya kuidentify ule mtu mwenye alikuuzia hii simu, itakusaidia sana sababu utatu hand over kwake. Sasa yeye tubaki na yeye tukidil na yeye atuonyeshe yeye mwenyewe aliitoa wapi mpaka tupate ule mtu ambaye alifanya nini hicho kitendo cha wizi Wacha mjamaa anze kububujikwa na jasho bahati akakumbuka on the first day wakati tu alishika hiyo simu hivi alikuwa na snap snap ma photos akasema wacha niingie At, at, I think at some point nikipiga piga tu picha naweza kuwa nilicapture huo mtu mwenye aliniuzia. Na by the way akaenda kwa sababu ni picha among the first first zenye ziko kwa gallery na akapata vizuri sana picha ya mjamaa 
profile hivi kidesign ameangalia chini akihesabu nini akihesabu pesa but this profile was good enough for uh, for it to be used to identify the guy so akaulizwa eh hey, unaweza kumbuka ilikuwa street gani ni akawaambia yeye nakumbuka kabisa haya itabidi tutoke na wewe tuende kwa hiyo street tuulize ulize tuone omba Mungu ikuwe ni mjamaa anaweza patikana sababu ukakuwa uliuziwa simu na mtu anaishi Garissa amesha kuuzia akapanda basi yake teke ameenda uko in problems so majamaa wakaenda mpaka tao maalum si aliniliyo picha exactly the, po, the place walikutana na huyu jamaa wakauliza a few traders hapo na pale ni aje huyu jamaa mnamjua mnamjua until one guy aliangalia hiyo picha hivi akasema ya huyu jamaa namjua anakuanga kwa stage pale koja hebu endeni hapo koja muulize wase wenye wanabangaiza bangaiza hapo kwa hiyo stage kama wanaweza kuameona hiyo face before So majamaa wakatoka kulikuwa na ofisa moja hapo alikuwa madam ako in plain clothes vizuri huwezi jua ni cop na wakaenda na yeye mpaka koja madam akaonyesha onyesha wase picha hapo kwa stage ni aje e, kuna kazini yangu mzee natafuta nilikuwa nikutane na yeye hapa but unfortunately simpati sijui kwa aje wakaonyesha na picha hata kufikiri wako onyesha watu watatu mmoja akasema ah huu ni nani nani haraka fast acha ni nimvutie ai akaingia kwa simu akavuta waya jamaa akapik ni aje wewe bana kuna kuzo wako wako hapa na kutafuta joa kupati eh hey, 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 na huku niambia uko na kuzo mali safi hivi wewe nini wewe eh hey, jamaa kasikia kuna mali safi fulani anamtafuta kwa stage akakuja mbio kukuja anaingia tu kwa mikono ya nani serikali jamaa akamwambia haya simu ndio hiyo jamaa mwenye aliniuzia ndio huyu na picha ndio hiyo nimeonyesha nilimpiga hiyo siku bas so ikabidi wakwame na huyu jamaa wewe ulitoa wapi simu eh ndio tuachilie huyu wewe tuambie ya ulitoa wapi of course mjamaa wetu akakuwa amepona akaishia na hivyo ndio jamaa alibaki na nani na huyu tapeli and that is how the guy ended up serving nine years ago ndani now hebu jiulizeni kama hi, hi picha haingekuwa si umse angeingia tu ndani for no reason for nine years sababu tu alinunua simu kwa street gadget limuokoa anyway hii ilikuwa tu ni preamble ni story tu ya kukushow vile gadget inaweza inaweza toka the actual story for today <laughs> ni story ya jamaa fulani actually story yake ni nimefanya nikakumbuka hii story ya gadget nikasema nitaziweke layer zote hapo now eh, eh, maju bado uk eh, na nimekuwa na story za uk of late eh. uk kuna mjamaa maze uh, ako na interest sana ya vitu za it it kujenga jenga mavitu is very handy but uh, unajua huko ni zile areas jo lazima upige kazi tatu ndio uweze ku make ends meet maze utengeneze pesa ya maana so akiwa shughuli zake anafanya gafanya tengeneze ga tengeneze ga watu tu vitu huko ni nini but yeye huaga anapiga shughuli kwa gym aya anahakikisha ma weight ziko sawa sawa washroom ni safi ndio mkienda kuchange huko ama mkienda kutumia washroom mpate mambo iko sawa nini nini anasaidia tu hapo kwa kwa gym So yeye kwa shughuli zake pale ana pressure na mtu akaambiwa na mdosi ni aje kuna mashini fulani iko kwa ladies washroom hebu enda utuangalie shida ni nini siko sure ni mashini gani i suspect inaweza kwa ni ile blower kushamaliza kuosha mkono fuu ina blows but siko sure one of the gadgets tunda ni ya washroom ah so jamaa akachukua tools zake haraka fasta akaenda akaingia pale akafungua ile mashini akaichekicheki aka repair ile kitu alikuwa ananiid ku repair na akafunga azanafunga mashini yake yatoke kidogo kidogo binti akaingia ilikuwa ni ya ladies washroom binti akaingia but hakuna problem sababu hapa mali anafanyia kazi ukishaingia kwa mlango unaweza mpita uende uingie saa kwa milango zingine zenye ziko na cubicles huko ndani nini nini so mali yuko si at ni place eh, private sana but haina cameras hakuna kama nje hiyo side so Eh amezoea madem hata wao mpata huko ndani wanapita wanaenda shughuli zao hapo ndani ama kuna kakona fulani hapo wanaweza tumbukia wapige changing haraka haraka waende waingie gym wafanye mambo yao. But um dem ameingia mazea piti kidogo kidogo anasikia tap kwa mgongo pa pa pa. So si ana tan kuangalia anapata eh hey, dem anaka fit deadly. Dem anamuuliza maswali hapo ni aje unaitwa nani? Aha eh hey, okay rada yako hapa ndani ni gani? Anamshomi napiga tu basic maintenance hapa but mimi ndio waga msewa kufagia fagia nini kwa kikisha gym iko safi. Yeah but hii mashini iko na problem ndio nilikuwa nimekam fix fix. Ah okay. Oh nice. Eh hey, wewe ndume unajua kutumia mikono fit? Ah napenda. Napenda. Unafanya nini by the way leo? Ah mimi niko kazi tu. Ah bas. 
after hapa hivi si nikishamaliza zoezi uko umemaliza shughuli yako ni kuonyesha mahali tuingie eh sa kidogo unajua kuna koga na masheria bana ukiwa kazi historia kuanza kuteka teka wasichana huko nini pia si si si, si show fit so mguiza kaona ah hii hii itachoma man akamwambia mazee aki ningependa sana but sasa unaona wewe utaingia hapo upige zoezi yako kitukao wana wana nda half ai mimi niko hapa mpaka saa tatu usiku bana so sitaki nikuwekea hapa hizo hawas zote ukiningojea nitoke saa tatu E, wacha tu tuseme leo ime imegonga mwamba tutajaribu tu siku nyingine. Ode maka insist akasema hapana. Mimi nadai tu changamke tuende bana. Ni nini unaanza kunipigia pigia story nyingi hapa za bure. Itabidi tu changamke tuishie. E, guys anaomba manze umenipata niko kazi mtu yangu sasa. Niwache kazi niende. Akamwambia cheki siku bembelezi na kuambia funga shughuli yako by the time namaliza zoezi nipate uko sawa nikishapiga shawa tunatoka na wewe tunaenda mahali nataka tuende eh jamaa anaomba hasa kwani unanilazimisha eh na kulazimisha mtu wangu juu kuna vile utakata form yangu nipige nduru hapa deadly niseme umekuwa ukitaka kunifanya mbaya so we fanya kile mimi nakwambia eh jamaa kaambia wa cheki wacha tufanyeaje wacha niangalie schedule yangu juu leo clearly ni siku tricky wacha ni cheki schedule yangu nikupatie siku for sure nitakuwa free the whole day unaweza nichukua uende na mimi mali unataka akatoa simu yake vizuri akaingia ndani akacheki akawaambia wa 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 maze naona ni kama schedule nakataa hakuna siku maze ninapatikana jo I, imekuwa ni tricky it amaze pole itabidi unsame oh najua vile tunaishigi huku lazima nipige kazi 15 ndio unajua i make ends meet akinaweza taka kuku slot mahali lakini imekataa jo akarudisha simu yake kwa mfuko mdema kaambia umenikataa utafurahia eh wewe endelea na hii kazi yako yenye unaipenda sana sababu i can assure you hautaifanya for long utati na mdema kaingia washroom kama amejama kaenda ka change na akapiga zoezi yake Mgaiz aliendelea na maisha kabisa for like two weeks. Eh yeah, akosa mpaka hata shasa how he incident shy happen. Anaendelea na life yake kabisa. One morning after two weeks ana come job, anapata mazema karao wako wamepack gari nje. Wako ndani kwa building. Eh hey, anaangalia ndio ya makarao anasema ni ni fala mgani huyu amepiga blanda kwani? Mpaka amekujua na makarao huku. Wacha niingie ni juu rada ni gani. Eh hey, anaingia kwa ofisi anapata boss wake yako hapo makarao wako hapo maze vitu zinaka hatari kidogo kidogo anaona nani ule mresh mwenye walikutana two weeks before anaitwa ah kam 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 hata umedupoa kufika nini e, tataka tuchapiane eh hey, anashindwa kwani rada so wale cops wanaambia ni aje unapiga kazi hapa eh hey, kabisa ah nice Umrasho shai muona eh eh una shai muona i think some two weeks uh, ago eh, to interact kiasi but sijakuwa nikimuona ever since ah okay so inasemekana umde mlikuwa unataka kumfanya mbaya maze eh ni vitu gani hizo ulikuwa unataka kumfanyia kwa ladies washroom first of all wewe kama ndume unafanya nini kwa ladies washroom akamwambia hiyo mimi waga napiga maintenance mdogo mdogo hapa eh nikikaa kuna ngori na itajika jua kuna mresha kuna hiyo ability za kutengeneza mavitu huko ndani mimi ndio waga naishia na hiyo siku anasema nilikuwa naunda mashini fulani koko shumi yao eh na ni chap chap nilipiga hapo haraka faster tukaongea na yeye dakika chache na mimi nikatoka nikaendelea na shughuli zangu eh cops akamwambia uongo mbaya itabidi jo tumeenda na wewe sababu eh allegations mresha kona nazo against wewe ni noma ni noma sana so before mazem mtu wetu atekwe manager akasema ina mamongo ya kidogo kabla muende wacheni tu nipige survey kiasi tu akaenda aka collect madem wana kwa gaka hiyo gym madem wana jo jamaa vizuri ni nini, nini. akawaita akamwambia ni aje umse wetu si mnamjua yeye mna interact gina yeye ni mse ana kuga na matabia fani fani ni mtu umshe at, at any given time ashai of make mka feel uncomfortable in any way wa resh karibu wapige nduru wakasema what Oh Africa ni sweet gentleman mazeo jamani mu deadly ana tujengaga deadly hata kwa zoezi anatusaidianga saa zingine hawezi hata hamnzi mtu ni mtu mfiti sana so mazeo wa rush wote kwa gym ana dai umse ni mfiti lakini udema na insist ana dai hapana jamaa karibu anifanye mbaya hata ni bahati mazee Ah karibu hata anze kulia jo akisema mazee kuona tu mjamaa inamtriga ako vizii 
So Kofsa kaambia maze sasa unaona kesi kama hii inakuwa ni ngumu sana sababu it's your word against hers. Sasa na most of the time watu waga washindi. Wewe unatandikwa hapa maze Juan wewe ni mwanaume. Dema ameku set kwa ingori. Number two, wewe ni immigrant. Like vitu haziko in your favor hapa bro. So we are sorry but uh, jo itabidi tu tukupeleke ndani. Mgaiza akaambia ina mambo ni sawa. Mimi nimekubali tu system hapa imeniangusha lakini kabla munipeleke ndani. Nipatie ni tu dakika moja. Nataka tu ni niingie hapa kwa app yangu kiasi. E, tusikie tu kwa mapana na marefu ile mambo yote ilifanyika hiyo siku ndani ya hiyo washroom. Guys. Turns out wakati mjamaa alisema wacha niingie niangalie schedule nione kama ninaweza pata siku unichote sababu umeinsist kunichota hakuna schedule alifungua alienda akafinya nini voice recorder akairudisha kwa mfuko vizuri na akaanza kuuliza um dem leading questions zenye zinaweza mfanya aji implicate vizuri kabisa Like conversation inaenda kitu kama so me insist kabisa unataka kunipeleka kwako cha nguvu. Na nikikataa utaniekelea nimekufanya mbaya. Eh, unde manasikika akisema eh na ujue mimi ndio nitaaminika sababu mimi ndio mresh. Number two, mimi ni citizen wewe ni wakukamu. Hizo vitu zote zinarekodiwa hapa. Aliwekelea hapo akasema boss wacha nicheze recording sababu niko na recording yote ya kile ili happen kwa hiyo nini. Boss kwanza ni kuchachisha akasema mm atutegemee speaker ya simu wacha nikimbilie bluetooth speaker kwa gari nataka watu wasikie na 360 surround dolby atmos connect bluetooth wewe to do the bluetooth device is connected successfully hey weka play hapo na kombeo demo alikuwa nasikia ni kama yani hii dunia tu ifunguke ya imswalo hall sababu ilikuwa what an embarrassment akasikika hapo live akisema vile atahakikisha huyu jamaa amekula ngori sababu ya kum reject hajawahi rejectiwa maisha yake yote ye ni nani ana reject citizen mzima wa UK kama nani a whole immigrant unakuja kunikataa kwetu who are you i will make your life miserable hizo vitu zote zinasikika tu hapo recording ikaisha jamaa ka press stop akarudisha simu kwa mfuko na akaambia ofisa kazi kwenu Mm. we will follow your lead of course ni kesi ngori sana ofisa akambia madam sasa wewe kila kitu yako iko sawa kitu umebakisha tu ni bling bling acha ni kutolema bling bling hapa leta mkono madam quick quick kacha hey hey to understand eh wende ujibu mashtaka sababu kama huu mjamaa angekuwa na ile recording unajua ungekuwa umeharibia mtu maisha for no reason for no reason twende ndani ndio uende upambane uko na sheria eh utajua pia sheria za hapa zitambui citizen na immigrant twende uti lakini sababu mkenya wetu ni mkenya roho safi ana mambo mingi alienda tu aka drop hizo charges akasema ni sawa ana understand his level of hotness inaweza fanya watu wafanye mambo ambayo si <laughs> so hata tu msichana wa yenyewe atoke aende ni, ni ndume wa miraba miine sababu past time yake ilikuwa kucheza rugby so huyu citizen alimuona akasema i need me a piece of this guy from chabakali who are you <laughs> na hivyo ndio mtu wetu alipona maze gadget ilimtoa kongori Why? sasa cha kuhuzunisha ni ya kwamba kuna wase wengi wengi sana wamekuwa locked up sababu ya situations kama hizi hawana tu alibai hawana kitu ya kuwatoa kwa hiyo ngori dunia ni ngori hapa nje guys bas na hapo ndio nafungia siku leo mm mm, mm. Ah, imekuwa true wadau nyinyi ni wanguvu sana ikikubamba kama kawa itakikosi tukue wengi tu enjoy story tusikie fit sasa wadau na watambua sana god our bless Adios muchachos. Peace. Go home man. 21.